Okay, so I made this video today to talk about the annoying, nasty rash they call tinea versicolor. Um, I've had it for about, I'd say almost 10 years and um, have had no luck getting rid of it until today. So I wanted to share with everybody um, what I did so you guys could try it out. Um, a couple of other YouTube videos really helped me out. I didn't want to go to the doctor and just take something orally and have it tear up my insides. I really wanted to try to use something as natural as I could. So um, to take you through the path of what I had done before, I tried um, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide on my skin, um, oregano oil, probiotic, um, and coconut oil and also apple cider vinegar. Um, I didn't stick with those for too, too long because I wasn't feeling like I was getting the result I wanted and it was really hard for me to fit it into my schedule. Um, I'm a mom and we were on a business and work and everything. So it was hard for me to, you know, lather baking soda on myself for three times a day, you know, and keep showering. So for me, that didn't work. Um, so the things that worked for me to get rid of my Tinea Versicolor were, um, I went on a 30 day no alcohol <clears throat> cleanse. And um, I'm used to drinking IPAs um, or beer, hoppy beers. So I cut that out for 30 days and that was probably the biggest thing I noticed. I also had cut out sugar um, in the years past. Um, my body just wasn't accepting it. And then also like white flour breads or baked goods I can't have. So um, a lot of that sugary stuff definitely affects this and makes it worse and you'll notice if you eat like something sweet or uh, bread the next day you're all itchy so try to link those two things up each person is different to what it specifically is so for me I think it, it was the beer um, okay so the two things that I used topically that I had never tried before and were really really um, successful were um, first there's a spray um, it's from a guy on Etsy pure presence um, is his name on Etsy.com and he calls it I don't even know how to pronounce it but it's halo rot spray I'll show a picture of it so you guys know um, this stuff is crazy you spray it on you after the shower it's essential oils I believe and um, it stings a little for sure but it makes it feel like it's working so um, I sprayed that on myself probably twice a day and let it air dry um, he walks you through how to use it I highly recommend that stuff it was like one of the best things that I've ever um, come across. So that, and then also um, I used a special soap and I continue to use it and I also feel like this is really beneficial. Um, I found it on Amazon. I'm gonna post a picture of it. Um, it's kind of tricky to find, um, but it's made by um, Olea Vine. And I'll, again, if you search that maker, then it should pop up on um, Amazon. So it's like a therapeutic thera tree. It's like all natural um, tea tree oil. It's like minty. It makes your skin just kind of like feel super clean. And I was feeling like my skin needed to balance out too. So that soap really helped. And I just, when I'm in the shower, I just use it. So um, those two things with cutting out for me, it was the beer. Um, I know another girl who's posted a YouTube, um, she, I linked it to gluten, which, you know, beer, bread, all that sugary stuff. Um, and, you know, I really was losing hope there because I, again, I've had it for 10 years and I had it really bad. Like my whole back covered just white spots, my chest was coming up to my neck and it was kind of getting out of control. Um, it got worse when I had my son and when I was pregnant. Um, I don't know if the hormones contribute to that, if you guys are dealing with that as well. Um, I work out a lot and, you know, in a sweaty environment, I live in San Diego and, you know, it's hot here. So I know all of you guys, it's like, when is this going to go away? But it, for me, all this stuff worked. And I'm telling you, I've tried like everything, like I said before. So um, I hope that you guys can use this video and it helps you. It really helped me. I can say for once, I am not itchy anymore and my skin looks pretty. So um, I hope this helped and um, you can 
post comments below if it did or if you guys you know want to add anything else um, but again just those three things for me got rid of it and being somebody who's tried everything um, I feel like I feel like I found the cure so anyways hope you guys um, have a great rest of the day signing off